Hello, people. This is Kevin speaking, and welcome to another episode of New Creative Stories, whereby we bring you familiar stories with a new twist to its endings, which are unpredictable. If you like our stories, do hit the like button, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the story. The story of little green riding boots. Darkness spread throughout the land of Terraporia as a plot by the name of Corvid-19 spread throughout the land claimed many lives. To prevent the disease from spreading, a lockdown was imposed and many businesses was forced to close. Many people lost their jobs. It was Mother's Day and Little Green Riding Boots rushed into her mother's bedroom and cried excitedly. Mother, Mother, I got a job and now we can put food on the table and not go hungry anymore. Why, it's the best Mother's Day present ever from my fulfilled daughter. Come give Mummy a hug. Do you love me, dear? Do I love you? Well... Here's my reply, Ma. Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you more than I can say. I love you twice as much tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh. Love you more than I can say. My, my, Little Green Riding Boots was really in a cheerful mood as she rushed forward and hugged her mother tightly. Oh yes, what do you have to do in this new job of yours? Well, actually, I applied jobs in two companies, Gas Food and Food Pant. Both are into food delivery. Everyone is staying safe at home and is so afraid of going out that they are ordering takeaway food, online groceries and whatever you can think of. <laughs> Employees at Gas Food are also making so many deliveries to meet overwhelming demand that they are literally gasping for air. <laughs> so is Food Pen, but instead of gasping, they are panting for air. <laughs> Get it? But since gas food offered me the job first, I decided not to waste time and grab the opportunity. Know what I mean, right? What? Food delivery? Oh, it's like deja vu. I remember you doing delivery of food to your grandma's house in the woods as was nearly eaten by the big bad wolf. Oh, I have already forgotten about that. But anyway, hey, this is a new generation and who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Nobody, nobody but you. Nobody, nobody but you. Ah, uh, enough of fooling around. I'm going to make deliveries now, ma. Gotta go, love you. Now, everyone is trying to make an honest living, except the big bad wolves. Yes, you heard me right. Not wolf, but wolves, as in plural. As Little Green Riding Boots was busy making deliveries, she attracted the attention of a pack of big bad wolves, and they followed her around. The chief of the pack gathered the others around and said, Hey guys, I've got a plan. As soon as Little Green Riding Boot comes down the alley, I'll jump onto a hob and pretend that she's knocked me down and demand payment for the medical bills. You guys would surround her and not let her run away. Wow, Chief. You're brilliant. What is it to be our chief? Yelp the pack of wolves. The pack of wolves soon set off to execute their plans and hid themselves and waited for Little Green Riding Boots to come cycling down the alley. As soon as Little Green Riding Boot was a meter away, Big Bad Wolf jumped out and shouted, 
Ayak! He did a somersault in the air and pretended to fall down a rolled in pain. Ouch! 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 His friends rushed out to surround the poor girl. Big Bad Wolf picked himself up and approached Little Green Riding Boots and groaned in pain. Oh, hey, Mama! Hey, Mama! Hey, hey, little girl! Why are you cycling so dangerously? Look what you've done! You knocked me and now I'm injured. I think you have to pay me for my medical bills, as I need to go see a doctor now! Say what? This is daylight robbery. You fell by yourself two meters away before I have even touched you, said Little Green Riding Boots. I don't care. Pay now or you'll be in deep trouble. Am I right, guys? Ha 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 laughed Big Bad Wolf as he turned to his friends. Pay up! Pay up! Pay up! shouted his friends. Little Green Riding Boots quickly flipped her phone and pressed a couple of buttons and smiled confidently. Hey guys, may I suggest that you disappear from my sight before you regret it? Ooh, I'm so afraid! mocked Big Bad Wolf. Suddenly, out of nowhere, Binja Turtle appeared. Hey wolves, why don't you pick on someone your own size, eh? All the wolves took a step backwards from Binja Turtle. Guys, guys, listen up. He looks too mean, but don't worry. He is one and we are many. There's nothing he can do to all of us. Said Big Bad Wolf, trying to defuse the situation. That's what you think, Binja Turtle shouted. Duplicate! And suddenly, many Binja Turtles began falling from the sky or appeared from nowhere. There were just too many of them to be counted and they sang in Yushin. Boom, 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 boom. I got you now. Kaboom. In a flash, Brinja bombs began raining from the sky. Splat, 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 splat. Was heard followed by ouch, 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 ouch. As the pack of wolves were hit by the gluey Brinja bombs, gluing them together and immobilizing them. Little green riding boot face glowed in delight and was so grateful to Brinja Turtle while Big Bad Wolf and the gang pleaded for Lancy. Please give us a chance, we will change Binja Turtle. Please, oh please, 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 begged Big Bad Wolf. And how would you change if I were to give you a chance? It better be a good one or your heads will roll when I weed my Binja swords. I shall count to three. One, two, two and a half. Wait up. We shall apply to join either gas, food, or food pens since they are hiring. We promise we'll turn over a new leaf. Please, please, Binja. Alright, maybe this once. But if I see you guys making trouble again, just watch out. Want Binja Turtle? Oh, we wouldn't dare. Thing that puzzled me. Big Bad Wolf asked Little Green Riding Boots. What did you press on your phone? Is it 999 for the police? Come on, nowadays we have hand phone and apps. I just use a binja app to order a binja and you will appear in 5 seconds or get a free pizza delivered to my home for the inconvenience. And best of all, the app is free. I shall give a 5 stars rating. The moral of the story is install Vinja app. No, I'm just kidding. The moral of the story is get alive, get off your feet, and get a job. Thank you, Gabriela, for reading the stories. And for you guys and girls out there, if you um, like our story, do give us a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time in the next episode of New Creative Stories. Bye.